Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here today and joining me. Today I'm going to do a galaxy pour, uh, but this time it's going to be on a round canvas. So, let's see what we can create. Okay, so this time I am going to attempt a galaxy pour on a round canvas. The one that you've probably seen me do previously has been on a square canvas. So let's give a round canvas a go. Again, space inspired. This time I have my spinner. So I'm going to attempt to use the spinner. It's a, you'll see it's a bit wobbly. It's not ideal, um, but I'm just gonna go and see, um, let's just see what happens. So I've already, um, I've, I've painted my sides because I wanted good coverage on my sides. So I'm gonna put a black coat of paint on the base. Um, I've prepared my paints. I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna, I will do a video showing you how I mix all of my paints because I have had a couple of people ask me. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So I'm going to, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the black paint into the middle of the canvas. Okay. I think that will be enough for now. Okay. I have my my cookie cutter and that's going to go in the middle and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the paints uh, one by one so let's start with the deep violet and what I'm going to try and do is ensure that a layer goes on consistently I'm going to try and use the same amount of paint for each one. Okay, and then I want to use a blue. Okay. Then I'm going to use a light violet. Turquoise green. Okay. Use a Windsor blue. And I think I'm going to end with a deep violet. Okay, oh, you can see the cup already travelling. Okay, so I'm going to lift. Lift again. Okay, got a couple of air bubbles in there. So I'm gonna to torch just to get rid of the air bubbles. We'll see some of the some of the reactions around the around the edge. I've used silicone in this one, so I have used a, uh, a cell activator. 
Okay, with my spatula, I'm just going to do like a round motion. So. It's like a swirl into the middle. Okay. I'm going to torch to see if I'm getting any more. Gorgeous colours. Look at those colours. Look at those cells popping up. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put a bit more black just around the edge so it helps the helps the paint spread when I spin. Okay. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's see. The problem with a wonky cat with, with a wonky uh, board. I'm gonna work the paint round myself. Keeping that circular motion. I don't want to stretch the cells too much. But I do want to get rid of some of that paint that's on the edge. Absolutely love this. Let me take you in for a closer look of the wet version. I absolutely love these colours and the way they've um, kind of merged together and created the cells and you can see the colours within colour. I really, really like this piece. It's a bit different for me, um, especially being on a round canvas, but um, let me know what you think. Okay, so a couple of weeks have gone by and this is now the dried version. Um, it maintained its structure. Uh, the the colours are still really vibrant, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, let me know what you think. Have a good week.